Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell. In the end, family's all that matters. You're right. I owe her. Somehow, I gotta make it right. <laughs> Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you... I choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? You seem okay, for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. Just some surgical supplies.
I'll have these doors open in two seconds. So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Do we have to cut it off, though? Do we know it works? We don't know anything. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Damn right. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, we have to take it. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. If we take off the arm, and you don't die of blood loss, well, maybe you won't die from the bite. What do you think? Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. I'll go as fast as I can. You got- <laughs> Try to stay still! <laughs> Not a while, man. My arm's on fire. I can still feel my fingers. Holy hell. Oh, this hurts more than you could believe. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed over there.
the way. Jesus Christ. Ah! When Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. Did they follow us here? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. It's not safe down there. We can't just walk through the streets. You planning on growing some wings? It's taking an immense amount of willpower to not make a crack about that suggestion, coming from the one-armed man. That joke will be funnier once we know if this worked. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. Spittle must have run out of doctors. See anything? There's a fire escape here, and that's about it. You came with me. You didn't think I would? It's like you said, Clementine has been my biggest, well, only real fan. I'd be a big piece of crap if I didn't. If we get over to that bell tower, we might have some impact on all those walkers out there. But then we just run through the streets? I, I don't know. What do you think? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. We need to get off this roof. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. That looks like Crawford Square over there. <laughs> Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Damn it! Oh, shit. The bells. 
Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. Yeah, Ben will do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep. I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit. Try to find another way out of there? It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked! few solid rings of this and there'll be thousands down below. Way. Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! I think I have to jump! There's no way back! You can make it! It ain't that far! This motherfucker. <sighs> Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof! Just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck! How could this happen? This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey guys, Lee's right. It was Vernon in that support group. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! I can't believe they did this to us. It's sick. It really is. They use your goddamn sympathy for sick folks and then stab us right in the back! They didn't use shit. They did what anybody would have done. They've been living like ghosts forever and they were fed up. That's it. 
He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill? Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Kenny, stop! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, Ben, I'm... Um... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny! Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Ben. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. Got it. Omi! What is it? Front doors! Fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! <laughs> This is a big, sturdy house. It'll hold. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Shit! Get upstairs! Go!
Everyone get to the end of the hallway. What do we do now? This will slow it down. Get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. Can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. We all know where to aim. Get ready. You dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. I'm okay. Don't. I'm okay. I'm really parents. No. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it! We can't panic! Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. We don't need to talk about it. I think we do. I said we don't. Guys. I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you! My arm is not the issue! I'm not the problem! The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem! Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it! This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! 
It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No, this mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can't spend the next three months digging through a wall. <laughs> This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I am. Uh, and when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get them in time to some focus. Despite how I feel, I, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh, Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? We, uh, got a support. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. Kenny's been horrible to her. He blames Ben for his family's death. It's just more complicated than that. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, hun. You can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. So, no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I don't feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway... I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Maybe 
take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kenny. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... I've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. You did everything you could. No, Lee. She left me. A son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but... It don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. What do you call this thing? Art? You still with us, Bid? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. Nothing other than personal items in here. 
Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Stay up here. Keep an eye out. Okay, but I can't see much from up here. Just let us know if they start coming down the alley. We'll be back. Be careful. Okay. I'm okay. Just get me out of here. Shh, quiet, Beard, or they'll be on top of us. Yeah, try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you. Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, oh. He's quiet. We could take our time and save his life. I can be super quiet. Fuck! Fuck! Oh god, don't let them get to me! Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out! Shit! Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back! She needs you, Lee! Kenny! This is not a discussion! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! What the fuck, Kenny? Lee. Lee is okay. Kid. Oh, it's not! It's just something I gotta do. You know that. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Yeah, damn it, Kenny! God damn it! Oh, fuck! Kenny! They're gone. Kenny! 
God. Damn. God. I heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He wasn't a bad guy. A lot of folks might not have always agreed. Maybe even me. We should go. Right behind you. Do you want to talk? Nothing to say. We need to stay focused on what we're doing. I know we can't just take a minute, but you're not a machine. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Good. Thanks. Whatever your best is, I'll trust it. That's all you can do. Fuck. Be careful across here. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They never know where the next meal is. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. I'm sorry. It's okay. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. The decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah.
Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town. By the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus. We'll be there! I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. 
your things there. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? Yeah. I know who you are. You saw my car out front then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far, I... Found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. It's more complicated than that. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. That's not the whole story. The whole story? How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. It doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. 
we can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No, shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs>
that's how we'll get out of Savannah. You might want to pinch your nose. Get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. <laughs> Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. Just a little more. So gross. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm-hmm. I'll keep you safe. Don't be dead. Please, no. Bree, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. Come here, sweetie. They're dead. They really are. As fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, 
Baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. Yes, it. You're smarter than all of them. Grab the chair, then. Use it to reach in to the lock.
Uh, handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. But what? Why? No matter what happens, you're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with it. He's trapped over there. If you're careful, you can get what you need from him. The keys. And then the gun. The keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? You're so close. Just get them both. I'll try. Kill it! You have to kill it! Watch out! Strong, Clem. You... You can do anything. But I'm little. Doesn't mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but... It's okay. My parents... It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now... You... Please... Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You can leave me. It's okay. You'll be just like them. It's okay. It won't be me. Please? Clem, it's time to go. You gotta get out of here. Y you can come with me. No, honey. I can't. It's okay. Please? You have to go. Now. M maybe. Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't let you turn. I don't want you to have to do that. Save the bullet. I'm not going anywhere. You have to always think about what you might need later. You had to shoot that man before, Clem. I don't want you getting used to it. Do you understand? Yeah, Lee, I do. Only do it when you absolutely have to. Otherwise... I'll go. I'll... I'll leave you. 
I'll go as fast as I can. And as safe as you can. Always be safe. Find Domit and Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? <gasps> yes. Good. They'll take good care of you.
Take us back. 